So ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that we're going to uh, you know, discuss in this class that we're going to look at is identifying the geometric from the arithmetic. So just like in an arithmetic, we're going to label our terms with a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Now, in previous, in arithmetic, Ryan, do you remember what we did to find, determine if it was arithmetic? We had to, do you remember how we determined if it was arithmetic? Maybe, maybe not. Brittany, do you remember? How do you determine if it's an arithmetic sequence? Right, you want to find the difference between the terms. And if the difference, differences are the same, 10 minus 5 is 5. Um, 20 minus 10 is 10. But if those differences were exactly the same, therefore then you could say that the differences are the same, so it's an arithmetic sequence. And what we do is we just subtract those terms to find d, which is our difference. In this case, what we're going to simply do is find the ratio. So we're going to compare a sub 2 over a sub 1. That has to be equal to a sub 3 over a sub 2, which has to be equal to a sub 4 over a sub 3, which equals for all of those r, which we call our common ratio. Caroline, please do not be doing that right now. Okay. Caroline, take it back out, please. Does everybody make sense? So therefore, let's just go and double check. 10 over 5 equals 20 over 10, which equals 40 over 20. And can these all be reduced to the same ratio? Yes. So our common ratio is 2. So therefore, since we have a common ratio and not a common difference, this is a geometric sequence. Cool?